forget the demons though. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. And at the final playoff hole, Trevor Taylor stepped up knowing that a solid tee shot would give him a putt for the title, even if Colin Brown could make a hole in one. It was to be Trevor's second quality shot of the playoff. And a chance for the Glen Eagles player to begin to savour the moment. It meant that Colin Brown had to hole out to give himself any chance, and he gave it a good shot. But it skipped on past to leave the scene set for Trevor to claim the title in style. A good challenge from Colin, but he left himself too much to do after playoff holes one and two, and he had to wait for his chance at the Bucks in the international final. Chuck Kayser just couldn't recreate his heroics from regulation play when he scored that fabulous 43 points and he bowed out of the playoff after this tee shot. Andy Jones followed Chuck, heading right off the tee to conclude his challenge. But there's no doubt that despite the disappointing errors under the pressure of the playoff crowd and the Sky Sports cameras, Messrs Jones, Kayser and Brown would be back for more at the final. Only one man could truly revel in the applause around the 18th green as he walked towards his trophy tour destiny. Trevor Taylor was left to enjoy his moment, deservedly so after his amazing tee shot. And despite the fact that the putt didn't follow the script, he'd all like to be left with one of those for a trophy. And so on a warm summer's evening at Murray's Hall, Trevor Taylor tapped in to claim his place in the Trilby Tour history books as the first ever champion of Scotland. First a hug from caddy and best mate Grant McJohn, then son Simon sprinted onto the green to enjoy the moment with Dad as Trevor Taylor was crowned champion. He's one very happy win. I've been getting wound up by William so much the last couple of days. Um, there were 67 people travelled here today that weren't from Scotland, which is actually disappointing. I'd like to see a much bigger representation from Scotland. To hear all the banter all day, to hear the guys shouting, come on Scotland, come on Scotland. To be wearing the flag and doing it was just tremendous, beyond my wildest dreams. However, John Lynch, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> I can't believe the two of us. He's got Ireland, I've got Scotland. Couldn't be better. Irishmen win in Ireland, Scotsmen win in Scotland. And there were a few tears there, weren't there, when that final putt went in? <laughs> I was in tears on the tee when I flushed my five iron. It was just magic. Absolutely magnificent. One of your highlights of your golfing career? 110%. It is the best tournament for somebody who's not a scratch golfer. There is nothing better than this. It's proper squeaky bum time. Congratulations once again. Well, Thank you. Trevor gave us several shots to choose from, but our Murray's Hall shot of the day had to be this beauty at the first playoff hole to get the challenge rolling. And now let's hear from a man who learned a very valuable lesson in Scotland. Don't bet against the Scots on home tour. Here's William. I took a beat in there because I had a little wager with a few Scotsmen that the title we were going south of the border. Gentlemen of Scotland, I apologise uh, for, for doubting you. It's been a brilliant trip, the people here are wonderful, big smiles on the faces and uh, Trevor Taylor, what a man, great guy. A true Trilby Torian, has been uh, his fifth Trilby Tour now, um, featured a little bit before, qualified for the finals previously, blew out, didn't get anywhere but this time he's held his own. I'd say the quality of golf in that playoff was not the best we've seen, probably the most nervous players, but Trevor held it and beautiful to see his son run on that green, I was got a little bit emotional there because I know those boys well and they were wonderful guys and worthy winners. Congratulations to Trevor Taylor, the Trilby Tour champion of Scotland. That's it from Murray's Hall. Next week we head south of the border to the last regional championship before the international amateur final at the Buckinghamshire as the KP club in York plays host to another field of Trilby hopefuls, all bidding to claim the last 12 places at the final and the championship of Yorkshire and North East England. For more information on all of the 2010 events, go to www.williamhunttrilbytour.com. We'll see you again soon.
flights, hotels, car hire. Netflights.com, sponsors of the William Hunt Trilby Tour.